Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Somebody painted our windows black? It wasn't me. I'm calling the police. I was asleep in my bed. Kind of pretty, huh, Molly? Too faster, sweetie. Last night you said too slower. Uh, yes, uh, uh, slower at night and faster in the morning. That's the new rule. What about the activities class? What activities class? I told you, the one that Chanel's in after school in the library. I will call the school today. This is Detective Tarnower. Despite all evidence to the contrary, he considers himself an amusing man. Judge Gray, what time did you turn in last night? Uh, midnight. I didn't hear a thing. Will you catch the bad guy? Well, I have one clue. Whoever did it was extremely poor. Now, how do you know that? By the cheap uh, single-ply toilet paper and the crappy old ladder. The ladder happens to be mine. Ah, a little joke. Very droll. Yeah, well, it could be a symbolic act, you know, the blackening of the windows and the painting of no fare on the door, kind of a tit-for-tat situation. You are a law enforcement officer because you don't dress like it. Uh, Judge, have you uh, consigned anyone to darkness lately? I mean, metaphorically speaking, or made anybody feel like toilet paper? Ew. Well, judges consign people to darkness every day, and um, they don't think it's fair. Where's your pencil case? Okay. No, no, no you, you eat. I'll get it. What about you? Any enemies? Mass and Kota. Well, that's a good lead. Is your mother single? She's divorced. Uh, boyfriend? She could if she won. You have to arrange it. Arrange what? My activities class, you forgot already. You're such a dirge. Well, stop calling me a dirge. I'll look into it soon. Soon means never. Soon means you just lost your allowance. Intense nausea means an intelligent child. <laughs> well, then you're obviously carrying Albert Einstein. I want my child to attend the alma mater of my mentor, Judge Amy Gray. I think you should focus a little closer at hand. What do you mean? I don't know. Uh, read some pregnancy books, take some classes, have a birth plan. I'm having a cesarean. I booked it with Dr. Fakir. What kind of doctor offers an elective cesarean? A very special doctor who graduated third in his class at the Caribbean Medical School. Oh, my God. I know. And reasonable. <clears throat> Donna, do you think that for once you could do something this important in the regular, time-tested manner? Like what? Uh, <laughs> um, how do I know? Choose a hospital, take a tour. I'll phone around and find out. Damara! Damara Karuf! Maxine, I almost didn't hear you. Was the Roseland complaint issued? Not yet. Thank you. Why not? It's been ten days. We're busy, Maxine. Cases are prioritized. Oh, I see. Fine. I understand the state's attorney's office is busy. I can see how something as trifling as child abuse might have to wait. It's on my list. I'll get to it. No hurry. 
because these children have already been sexually abused, and after the initial trauma, they get used to it. Go to hell, Maxine. I have files full of hell, many with actual pictures. Well, you wouldn't care about that. I'm crossing a line here. With prosecution like this, he won't even need to hire defense. Well, let me pay for that. I, I'm only too uh, proud to pay for a hard-working public servant's coffee. Here's an idea, Maxine. Why don't you try to find another state attorney to work with? Ma'am, your change? Mrs. Schleewe. Oh, God. Mrs. Gray, nice to see you. How's Lauren enjoying the second grade? Very much. She and Mrs. Brewer get along very well. Oh, good. In fact, I was just speaking to Mrs. Brewer about the gifted program. Lauren's friend Chanel is in the group, and Lauren would like to participate. And Mrs. Brewer said that I should speak to you since you're the one who would have recommended her for testing last year. That's right. You didn't recommend her for testing. Lauren is sweet, bright, motivated, a little precocious with all that hair, but she's not gifted. I disagree. Well, you're not objective. Well, neither are you. You're allowing our mutual antipathy to affect your judgment. You're accusing me of unprofessional conduct? Yeah, well, that's what antipathy means. We don't like each other. I'm late for class, Mrs. Gray. It's, it's Ms. Gray. Mm -hmm. It's just a little thing. Anyway, I would hate for Lauren to lose out because of a misunderstanding between us. It would be one thing if she tested and failed to qualify, but, but you didn't even give her the chance. The school board pays for evaluations. It's not cost-effective to test children who are unlikely to qualify. What if I had her tested independently? There's certainly no law against that. Well, that's what I'll do then. And I wish you the best of luck. That's me, number four, off of Bobby Orr. Now, I, I pick up a bullet from Gavin in the neutral zone and deke along the boards. I probably should have passed to Tyler right there, but I didn't. And you should never drop your head along the boards, but I did. Couldn't breathe or nothing. Seeing stars there, then... It really hurt. Were they able to save your eye, Andy? No, they had to remove it. Later, I'll get a glass one. Your Honor, we renew our objection to the use of this inflammatory video. The tape clearly shows David Shipp purposely and with malice used a weapon to maim Andy Thomas. Your Honor, it was not a weapon. It was a hockey stick. And it was not an assault, but rather an unfortunate mishap during a particularly intense game of hockey between two fierce rivals. Now, Andy Thomas checked David Shipp right before the fight, frustrating his chance at a game-tying goal. We have affidavits from players on both teams stating David Chip declared his intention to get revenge. Typical posturing between adolescent males. I'm overruling your objection, Miss Bowes. The videotape stands. Prosecution rests, Your Honor. Can I stay there? Chanel shot herself in the face with a rubber band. How gifted is that? I'm not so sure those gifted programs are anything more than parents making science projects of their children. Do you remember when Lauren asked me who would win in a fight? An angel or a ghost? Tell me that isn't the thought process of a gifted child. Amy, what do you think getting her in a gifted program means? She'd, she'd go to extra classes and learn extra stuff. What really bugs me is that her teacher deliberately held her back. Well, as long as that's what really bugs you. What are you doing? I'm on a stakeout. Uh, how, how do you know that the vandal is going to come back tonight? Of course, I don't know that. But if he does, I'll be waiting. Mom. Mom, you can't do this. You're turning into a vigilante. I'll be fine. What if he's dangerous? He fights with toilet paper, Amy. Good night, dear. Lunatic. I heard that.
into my house where I live, where my, my family lives, where my granddaughter oh, sleeps. Oh, How oh, dare you? This oh, is my home. What did you do to him? Oh, Nothing that he didn't deserve. Ma. He was urinating in my gas tank. I don't care. He's a common uh, criminal. <laughs> The only good thing is he's likely to be dead before he gets old enough to do any real damage. That's enough. Go, go inside and call the police. You okay? Can you walk? I feel a little sick. You should have thought of that. Go inside. Good morning. I'm here on that uh, Samuel's murder thing. I was a secondary on that, so I'm wearing my respectable suit. Well, you look terrific. So do you. I heard you caught your vandal last night. Oh. Oh, Detective Hornblower. Tonhour. Right. Uh, right, right. You didn't recognize me, huh? Uh, no. Yes, of course I did. Your, your name was on the tip of my... <laughs> If you're a homicide detective, why were you looking into a vandalism? Because you're a judge. Today's vandalism is tomorrow's revenge killing. But it's your mother that the boy has a beef with. Apparently, she removed him from the home, and he hates her for it. Ah, uh, well, mystery solved. Did you know there's a rule against cops asking out victims of a crime? Well, my, my mother's technically semi-seeing somebody anyway. Yeah, Jared Duff, mm. you know, the big financier. Technically, it's your mother that was the victim. So uh, now that you know I'm an elite homicide cop, maybe you would consider uh, having dinner with me? Oh, oh, de Detective Tarnauer. Uh, I'm actually uh, pretty busy with this trial. The hockey thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I can't really talk about it. Maybe another time. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I coached hockey. And you know, the thing that got me was all the pressure on the kids to be tough. From the coaches and the parents, and, and more than anything, the scouts. The scouts? Mm -hmm. For 14 year olds? Oh, yeah, yeah. These kids, they're aiming for the big league. They got to stand out. The easiest way to do that? Kick butt. I'll let you know what happens with your vandal. Yes, uh, yeah. thank you, Detective Turner. Okay. Good news or bad news? Lay the good stuff on me. Tamara Carruth has agreed to stay on the Roseland case, despite the fact that you insulted her and caused her to spill hot coffee on her hand. I asked you for the good stuff. The bad news is that she's collected a number of complaints about your deportment. What about her deportment? You've already chased one state's attorney off the Rosen case. And I'm telling you, we won't get a third. So, I'm suspended? Not if you go to an anger management course. I told them I wouldn't ask I'll you. go. Excuse me? I said I'll go. It's a whole day. With other people? And an instructor? Last night, I yelled at a child. I lost my temper. What did he do? Uh, vandalized my home. <laughs> then he probably deserved it. No, Sean, he did not. I don't give a damn about Damara Caruth. But I don't yell at children. And I will go to the anger management seminar. Oh. Well, uh, okay then. Really? I said I'll go. We'll start in admissions, check out the nursery, then move towards the actual birthing rooms. Waiting for the mother? Yeah, she said she'd be here. Well, we're about to begin. Fathers can learn a lot, too. No, 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 I'm not the father. He's in jail. I see. Well, good thing she has you. I wasn't aiming for his eye. What were you aiming for? His head. That area. Why? Why? Yes, why? You hate Andy Thomas? I don't even know him. Was it because he spoiled your goal? Goal scoring is not exactly my rep. But what is your rep? I'm good in the corners. That's hockey code, Your Honor, for being an enforcer. 
What hockey code? I is that what you are, David? A, a good enforcer? I'm on the ice. The other team knows it. Oh, so you were sending Andy a message? I'm sorry about his eye. I'm really sorry. But Andy laid a hard hit on our top scorer. It's my job to show him that he can't get away with that. Did your coach tell you that? He doesn't have to tell me. Were, were there any scouts in the stands during the game? Yeah. Did, did they communicate with you at all? He nodded at me. He, he nodded? Yeah, like, good job. Isn't it true that you've been given a new nickname that other players now call you the hitman? Yeah, I heard that. As you can see, we replace cold, functional hospital rooms with warm birthing environments. There's soothing music, patterned sheets, and yet, just beyond these doors, is the most advanced infant ICU in the state. Um, why do you need that? Oh, say there's a concern. Like what, for example? Oh, say low birth weight. There's a fridge here for juice. What about cesareans? We're set up for all eventualities, but I don't think we need to go into details. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me, women need to know what they're facing. What eventualities? Reach birth, eclampsia. But during this orientation, we try not to dwell on the negative. Reach birth, eclampsia? What, what's eclampsia? Uh, that woman who died in childbirth on ER, she had eclampsia. Toxemia, placental abruption. What's that? It's a massive hemorrhage. All kinds of things can happen. If we could please just move along. Um, is, is there somewhere we can get a list of all the terrible things that can happen? The defense in the hockey case is asking for a continuance. They want to present character witnesses. <laughs> what? Cheerleaders? I don't think they have cheerleaders in hockey, Judge. That's great. Uh, Detective Turnhour. This is uh, Don Kosowski Pant, my court clerk, and uh, Bruce Van Exel, my, my CSO. I'm pregnant. Oh, I, I, I'm innocent. I'll, I'll take a blood test. <laughs> Judge Gray, I know you're pressed for time, so let me come right out and ask if you'd like to go with me to see Lou Reed. Oh, I'd like a date. Uh, Judge Gray, uh, we, we have to go. Uh, Detective Turnhour, I... Um, much as I love Lou Reed, you can tell I'm pretty swamped here. So you you should really move on to someone else. Okay, if you're sure. Yes. Thank you. You can't go out with him. You're smart and beautiful and young and hot and successful. I mean, he's not even in your league. It's ludicrous. Sana. Well, he's not. I mean, do you think he's in her league? I don't have a league. <sighs> I mean, I bet you never even gone out with somebody who wasn't handsome and smart and athletic and, and charming and perfect. Of course I have. <laughs> I have. Anger is an emotion. Crying, yelling, screaming, hitting, sarcasm. These are all angry behaviors, actions that we choose to take. Now, Barbara, why are you here? I, I lost my temper. No, with all due respect, there's really no such thing as losing our temper. Rage hits us within one-tenth of a second. And in that minute space of time, we don't lose anything. We choose to let it go, just as we choose to take action. Now, Barbara, why are you here? I spat at a store clerk. Action! Randall, I kicked a dog. Not my own. Action! Nicole. I dumped my soda on a talker in the movies. Now, who hasn't wanted to take that action before? <laughs> Hands, good. Maxine? I slammed a boy's penis in my gas tank lid. I said some cruel things to him as well, which is worse. Also, I humiliated a co-worker. I've done that before, though. Quite often, actually. But never to anyone who didn't deserve it. Ah, that was interesting. What? 
Well, the way you use your smile as a weapon. All right, now, we're going to learn how to deal with our adjustment disorder by using breathing techniques, redirecting energy into hobbies and housework, and using positive self-talk. Now, can everyone please say, I've taken the first positive step to deal with my anger issues. Hmm? I've taken the first positive step to deal with my anger issues. Yes, Maxine. I don't think that housework and breathing are going to work for me. That's good. Boundary assertion, that's good. But see, Maxine, you're still using that smile as a weapon. Not a very effective one, obviously. When you uh, said you made me lunch, I, I thought you meant something fancy schmancy. Actually, it's just my way of getting you to read my column. Well, how about help? This is what I learned during the birthing orientation, which you didn't show up at. Oh, uh, uh what, 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 when was that again? <laughs> Don't give me that. You never miss an appointment. I'm sorry, Vincent. You're right. It was discourteous for me to stand you up. Would you forgive me enough to allow me the honor of reading your article? Yes. I'm going to the bathroom now. Thank you for lunch. So this Dr. Feltis specializes in child development. If he says Lauren is gifted, she is gifted, and Mrs. Schleewe can kiss my ass. Well, someday you and I are going to get together and do something besides sit in a doctor's office. I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to cancel lunch, and I knew I had to do this. You know, my Gary is gifted. Gary, who, who shaved off his eyebrows? Well, he's only gifted in math. I mean, he can't spell logarithms, but he can do them in his head. So, Lauren, ask me this question. Who is stronger, an angel or a ghost? I mean, that's got to be a gifted mind to come up with that. Well, it's certainly poetic. And, and she's an incredible arguer. She'll logic you to death. Oh, I wish she wasn't. What? Gifted. Gary. Why? Because he's an impressionable 14-year-old kid and all these people are telling him what to do and they're pushing him to be a numbers cruncher. I worry sometimes that being a math whiz is his whole identity. I mean, what happens if he wants to be a cop? Cops are good. Cops can be smart. Lolly, if you want to know about the cop, you can just ask me. Okay, is your cop like really buff and manly, prematurely balding? I just love that look. He's not my cop. So what? Is he like donut, gut, beer, breath, you want to touch my gun? What? No, he's... He's very nice. But not in your league. I don't have a league. Miss Gray, I very much enjoyed my time with Lauren, and I'll call you with the results. Uh, oh, okay. I thought we could talk. We will. Probably this afternoon. How was it? Fun. We did puzzles and stuff. I did good. Well, you did well. I know. <laughs> Donna, you all right? Yes. <laughs> Donna, are, are, you, are you crying? No. There's a real irony attached to this case. Being dragged into court, charged with blinding another player. All of this has done nothing but bolster David Chip's reputation as an enforcer. And if I follow my inclination and recommend attention, well, it'll only make David Chip look even more like a tough guy. So, I am finding you delinquent and recommending three years probation. You mean I can just go? Your Honor, what message is this sending out? Uh, wait, I, I am not finished. 
uh, I am entitled to impose certain restrictions on your probation, uh, above and beyond those outlined for me. Among them, no fighting, no truancy. Your Honor, with all due respect. And no hockey. Your Honor, I must object. My client is a talented athlete who has a future in the sport. Missing a season of hockey would seriously damage his chances of going on to play in college or the pros, not to mention the emotional impact. No, I I'm not talking about missing a, a season of hockey. I am prohibiting him from playing hockey at all during his entire probation period. No, I, I would rather go to jail. Well, break the conditions of your probation and you'll get that wish. Your Honor, you're effectively ending David's chances at his chosen profession. Profession? He's a 14-year-old boy. His current profession is school. And, and not to mention, he had no qualms about ending Andy Thomas's career as a hockey player. School sports are supposed to foster a sense of healthy competition and fair play. And in that regard, they mirror the dynamics of the adult world. There are boundaries, and when we cross them, we give up certain rights. In this case, the right to use a hockey stick as a weapon. But also the right to win at any cost. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. You cannot do this to me. Hockey is my life. Hockey was your gift, Mr. Ship. And life is full of those. I hope you find another. Breathe in. Breathe out. Our palms open to the cosmos. Our minds to new thoughts. <clears throat> Imagine your secret place in all of its beauty. You're safe, in control, content, comfortable, at peace. You are your own secret true best self. Then comes rolling toward you a red ball. This is your anger. This is your rage. And as it comes towards you, it becomes ever smaller and cooler, more manageable until it is a tiny, harmless marble you can hold in the palm of your hand. Share what ignites your anger. Let it pass from you to the marble of rage and then deliver it to the next person. My anger is ignited by people who don't signal and drive slow in the fast lane. Pass it on. My anger is ignited by the banter of television news people. Yes. My anger is ignited by the fact that eating a two-pound box of candy adds five pounds to my hips. Mm. My anger is ignited by people who interrupt my dinner to sell me a new long-distance server. Pass it on. My anger is ignited by... <laughs> Just let it flow, Maxine. By men who beat children to death with extension cords and women who plunge babies into scalding water so they'll stop crying. My anger is ignited by fathers who rape their daughters and pregnant women who take crack and drink alcohol without a thought for the tiny souls they are damning to a lifetime of pain. Babies in dumpsters drug overdoses, burns, cuts, gunshot wounds, wasted minds and ruined lives. My, my anger is ignited by a society that pays lip service to its children while treating them as nothing more than a marketing demographic and by schools that are falling apart and teachers so numbed by, by violence and fear that they've stopped teaching. But what's really pissing me off today is a room full of supposed grown-ups who think that, that bad drivers and loud talkers and hips are worth getting angry about when all the rest of that actual evil is loose in the world. Thank you. I think this helped.
Ah. God, Vince, I'm so sorry. I, I, I thought you left. No, no. I'm, ow, I'm sorry. My article upset you. I can't believe you made me read that just to be mean. No, I didn't. Then I realized the real reason why you made me do it. I was afraid that you were in denial. No. The real reason. You feel excluded. Uh, uh, no, really, I, I don't. Uh, I mean, you've been going through this with me step by step, and if it weren't for you explaining the shelf life of semen, I would have thought I was giving birth to the baby Jesus, and now I just toss you aside when it's time to have the baby. What? Well, you see, um, that's all right with me. No, it isn't. Vincent, I'd like to formally request that you be my birth partner. Oh, that's... Oh, that's that's quite an, an honor. Uh, but since you're having a C-section... Oh, no, I decided to forget the cesarean and uh, go with my second choice. Water birth. Believe me, the, the partner is crucial. Well, in, in reminding you to breathe? No, uh, you, me, and the midwife. Midwife. We're all in the hot tub together. The... But in the, we're in the same hot tub? <laughs> Thank you, Vincent. Vincent? We only had to continue three cases, Bruce. That is not bad. That means six tomorrow, 30 by the end of the week. Okay, so no matter how hard I try, you're always going to be pushing for more speed. This is the principle of dynamic tension, Judge. It makes one efficient team. Bruce. Did you just admit we're good together? Not exactly. Don't be such a dirge. <laughs> what, what's that? I was hoping you'd know. This could be one now. <laughs> Afternoon. Hi. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't call you back. I've, I've, I've been oh, very busy. I understand. How about instead of Lou Reed, we go for a drink? I really can't. I, I have things. Was it because I'm a cop? What? Well, a lot of women are nervous getting attached to a guy in a dangerous job. But I'm a detective. I haven't pulled my weapon in years. That's, that's, that's not really it. You don't think I'm in your league? I don't have a league. I, I just... Okay. Sure. How do I look? Yeah, well, fine. You going to the library or something? Good. That's what I was going for. Repainted the front door. When Mom says she doesn't like the color, tell her to paint it herself. Hey. Who would win in a fight, an angel or a ghost? That's a stupid question. Why? Because angels won in an epic war over all the demons of hell. Demons beat ghosts, angels beat demons, so it's obvious. Why? Forget it. Amy? I agree to be Donna's birth partner. Well, well good for you. Why? So she go to a real doctor. I mean, it's a long, appalling story. Well, I'm going out on a mercy date myself tonight, so I can't criticize. Well, but yeah, you you do that kind of thing. What? You interfere and poke in other people's lives. It's oh. it's your nature. That's how you ended up a judge. But it's my nature to be an observer. So why is this happening to me? You care about her. Well. <laughs> Caring and there's caring and why did I get so involved? You got blown up. You had brain damage. You had to learn how to walk again, how to read. Maybe your reward is to be a participant in something beautiful. No, my reward is to sit in a hot tub wearing a speedo while Donna delivers a baby. Well, you don't have to wear a speedo. 
Donna will be naked. So, so you were a teacher before you were a pathologist? No, I was a pathologist who taught pathology. But I worked my way through medical school as a paramedic. Oh. I chose pathology because the patients didn't scream as much. So are, are you a renaissance man or do you suffer from attention deficit disorder? Um, do you know that every seven years we slough off all of our old cells and we start over? I usually celebrate by getting a new job. Lost one wife with that philosophy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we have a great son. He's a congressional aide in Washington. Oh, did I just uh, remind you of how old I am again? Could be worse. You could be a senator. Huh. Are you uh, throwing yourself back in an abandon to wild passion? I'm sorry. I... I can't do this. I apologize. I misread the signs. Which signs? Mm, laughter, light touches. We were connecting on several deep levels. A second cup of coffee, a second brandy. You shared my stinky cheese. Those sound like romantic signs. Yeah. Your pupils are dilated. An indicator of sexual interest or a massive head injury. Oh. You touch my shoulder. When I touch your hand, you would have thought you were interested in me. Oh my God, you're right. Those were signs. I'm 15 years older than you, I know. I didn't go to Harvard. I could benefit from a few sit-ups. But I'm a good guy. Go out on a few more dates. I'm gonna look pretty damn good to you. Feel free to give me a call. in the flavor, Lauren. Don't knock it. Hi, Mommy. How'd your date go? Do I have a league? Of course you do. And he's not in it? It's just as well. God, I feel so shallow and vain. Nonsense. If you were vain, you'd dress better and do something with your hair. Mommy, did you get me into that special class? Uh, honey, <clears throat> do you remember those tests we did with, with Dr. Feltus? Yeah. Well, Dr. Feltus was testing you to see... That class is full. But Dr. Feltus uh, apparently discovered that you are the sort of person that should be in a karate class. Oh, can Chanel go to karate with me? If they'll let her in. I'm gonna go call her right now. Karate? I panicked. So, Lauren isn't gifted? No. She's normal. It's not a tragedy to be normal, Amy. No, just because you got to be the mother of a gifted child. And look where it got him. He needs a roommate to make his rent. No, not, not Vincent. Me. You? You were never gifted. No, but I... I went to those special classes. With smart kids. An after-school program? You did crafts. No, Dad, Dad said that was for genius kids. Edward was worried about your self-esteem, so he lied to you. Vincent is gifted and I am not? Don't begrudge him. God! All those years you made me feel like I was the special one. I had no idea you were thinking that. In my view, these, these labels are meaningless. I, I know they are, I but then there's the, the other side of me, the side that's shallow and vain. The side with a league. Ah, I can't believe it. There's a club that my daughter is not allowed to belong to. There are hundreds of them. 
and she's going to be left out and, and, and excluded all over the place. There will even be people who don't like her. Mr. Sleevey doesn't like her. Exactly. I want Mr. Sleevey to be hit by a tractor. That's appropriate. You're supposed to feel that about your child. The ones that you and I see all day don't have that. Sometimes I think that's the biggest loss of all. Not having someone who'd abandon common sense and dignity on your behalf. I had that. You still have it, dear. There's a kid I want to see in detention. Have some cookies with your normal daughter. Rolling toward you is a red ball. This is your anger. As it rolls towards you, it becomes ever smaller and smaller, more manageable. Oh, this is whack, man. Close your eyes. Man. Until it is a tiny, shining, harmless piece of glass you can hold in the palm of your hand. Yeah, well, so what? It's manageable, you understand? You were in control of your anger instead of the other way around. Oh, so this marble is my anger? That's the idea. This marble gonna hold the fact you stole me away from my mother? I had to take you away. She was abusing drugs. She couldn't take care of you. But I took care of her! Now she's got nobody. I mean, she's on the streets. She'll probably die. And it's your fault. I mean, you think this is gonna hold all that? Is it gonna hold that I hate you? You better hope it will, Terry, because if it doesn't, you're gonna end up here again. Make me sorry that I'm giving you another chance. Well, what do you care? I mean, according to you, I'm gonna die a loser and everyone will be glad. That's why I'm here. I'm sorry I said that to you. I apologize. I was angry and I was wrong. And to prove it, I persuaded the state's attorney to drop the vandalism charges against you. That means that you are no longer in violation of your probation and you're free to go home. Come on. I'll give you a lift back to your foster parents. I don't want no ride from you. Well, it's my job. Are you sorry about slamming my Johnny in that door? Nope. Keep your damn Johnny out of my gas tank. Coming up next on TNT's Prime Time in the Daytime, the FBI intervenes in a dramatic case. Don't miss the drama of law and order next on TNT.